And uh, for the first time, we're really inviting many gongs and bamboo music and sounds from Asia. Here we go. We have uh, eight countries represented. Uh, this is Indonesia. These are Indonesia, Vietnam, Beijing, China, South Korea, Malaysia, Thailand. The long group from Thailand and uh, Taiwan, India. We will witness the event of classic gongs, not only shapes but designs, no? uh, bamboo and sound of all kinds. In fact, tayo, makaya man natin sa bamboo instrument. What does it say about the people? Pagkarami sila ng bamboo instruments. Pagkarami sila ng gongs. Because iba ang character, uh, iba ang temperament, ibang paninaw sa buhay ang makikita sa mga taong gumagamit ng bamboo, sa gongs, kasi the sound of gongs and bamboo produce what we call broad pitch spectrum kumpara sa gitara o piano na very narrow pitch spectrum. That means, uh, ang sa tingin namin, gongs and bamboo instruments have something more to do with the spiritual world and harmony with nature than what we find in the West. No? Masyadong specific for human expression, no? So, yan ang mga makikita nyo. Philosophy ng bamboo and bong music. And, um, napakaraming participants, 21, 12 from the Philippines, and 8 from other countries. At, uh, mga sample, yung gawa ito, baka hindi natin alam ang gandain ng mga aita sa mga bird whistle. Bird whistle from the aita, no? Ang gandain ng mga... Ito, ang sa'yo pagkata ako. And then, of course, hindi uh, ever, ever popular kubi from the Maranao, no? Hmm. Kung mag sound, hindi mo pa-purchase ng Western Music Instrument unless you get a synthesizer. Kung magkano synthesizer, thousands of dollars. Eh, ito, Pabibili niyo ng 20 pesos <laughs> sa Marawi. And there are many, ah, uh, wala na, na lang. There are many other kinds of, many other kinds of uh, this kind of instrument from all over the country. This used to be widespread, even among the Tagalogs, meron ito. Kaya lang, no, wala na, dahil sa Western Defense, wala na, wala na sa Bangla Kapi, wala na, natin kira pa yan sa Bangla Kapi. Kaya, uh, mayaman tayo sa imaginasyon, lalo na makikita niyo sa Sini. Sa lahat ng uri ng sining at kilala nga sa inyo, pakita sa inyo kung ano yung nangyayari ngayong Pebrero, sana ay makalalo kayo. Sapagat we will be prouder of being Filipino. No? Pag nakita natin mag-aaral tayo yung kayaman sa kultura, and of course, itong yaman sa kultura ito can be translated into livelihood. No? Kung natinuro natin ang cultural industries natin, talagang makakasulong tayo sa kanya. So, we really would like to help the country develop, not only culturally but economically, and also, we have to be proud of ourselves as Filipinos because we have so much to contribute. Sabi nga ni Vanessa, we're very good in the performing arts. Why are we good in the performing arts? Because, kita-kita nyo, tayo yung sabi nyo nung sa diaryo. Tayo daw ang pinaka-expressive sa buong mundo. Out of 150 countries, the Philippines got the highest in being the most expressive. And the highest form of expression ay isa sa performing arts. Theater, dance, cinema. Kaya magaling tayo ang music. Kaya tayo magaling dyan eh. Uh, kaya nga magaling tayo dyan kasi yun ang pinaka-expressive sa lahat. Eh, sorry na lang no. The least expressive in the world are the Singaporeans. <laughs> Out of 150 countries. So, uh, so yun lang. May pagmamarapin natin at maraming pang bagay. No? So maraming salamat ulit.